How are you aware of these things? To what these things getting compared to? There must be something here that's not going through change. It's not being touched. It's not aging. It's not getting sick. It's not getting stained. It's always here, present and aware. Aware of you, aware of your movements, aware of your thoughts, your state of affair, your emotional ups and downs, aware of you when you sleep. Even aware of you going to sleep, something here doesn't change, yet it's observing change and reporting change. So you bring your attention to that. And then you see that you are free. Then you see that what you think is suffering you're, is not happening to you. Then you see the stories that come up, your childhood, your stories, you've been hurt, you've been damaged, you've been that, 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 all the things that happen, they disappear. They have no room and no power in here and now. It's like mist and fog. It's really misty, it's very foggy, but the sun is rising. As the sun is rising, and the heat and the rays are coming, the mist begin to disappear and go away. So the story that we get involved, whatever it is, how horrible it is, how much we think has affected us, or maybe we have been scarred, or we have picked up entities and their beings that they are coming to you, or their beings that talking to you, or they're going through you, or whatever. Whatever is the story, I don't care. I don't care if it's great or it's horrible. Whatever is happening, that story disappears. It becomes meaningless. It doesn't mean anything. You begin to see that. You begin to see your own story is meaningless. It has no meaning. Zero. And then you don't want to carry it because it's weight. You're carrying weight and it brings you down. It makes you grow old, makes you sick, makes your spinal cord to bend, brings you pain and aches and all kinds of things. It doesn't bring anything good. There's nothing good comes out of your story except misery. So it's better to let it go by being here. And by being here, you don't really have to do anything. You're simply bringing your attention inward towards yourself. Not your story, not your thoughts, not your emotions, not your body, that which is aware of all of them, to that one. Then what happens is the more you do this, the more you stay here, the more you refuse to get involved with your story because you have there has to be a willingness for those of you who really seek freedom there has to be a willingness 
to let to be here and not go into the story some of you are not ready for that and you're used to and addicted to the story so you like to go there and play this old tape recorder over and over again it's like a broken record that keeps going over and over again so there are people a lot of people on this planet that they're not ready they need to stay in their story but those who are seeking freedom and they want to wake up and they want to free themselves from the cycle of this cycle imaginary cycle of love life and death and fear and anxiety fear anxiety of death fear and anxiety of old age fear and anxiety of what's going to happen to me fear and anxiety that i'm going to be left out lonely for the rest of my life nobody's going to love me nobody wants to be with me what's going to happen to me 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 for those of us who want to free ourselves from that this is the remedy this is the way out there's no other way any other way you take you're just fooling yourself it's an entertainment for your mind you know you're giving your mind a little cookie you're giving your mind a banana you're giving your mind you know a piece of chocolate something to entertain itself to postpone its demolition to postpone its death because the mind doesn't want to let go it wants to linger around and it's a as a slave it's a great servant if you come on the top and recognize it that it's not who you are then it's a great tool and it will serve you it will do things you can use its power for things but as who you think you are then it's a butcher it will butcher you as it's been doing it all this time with all these fears and worries anxiety all the stuff that comes up they're the products of your mind and you buy it because you think it's real you think it's who you are and by repeating your story over and over again and going into it then you're reinforcing your mind you're reinforcing a bundle of thoughts that then again they're meaningless and they have no power when it comes to this moment when you come to here and if you don't believe me you can examine it for yourself it's very simple it's very simple it's nothing really extraordinary that you have to do something you don't need to go to india you don't need to become vegetarian or shave your head or be celibate or give up your cigarettes or drink or whatever you don't have to do anything you simply bring your attention inwards to this moment you come here then you come to now and examine for yourself examine it for yourself you tell me when you come here in this moment what's troubling you